Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Melodotti, and this is Tiffle Tat. Bringing you some very unfortunate news. Apparently, yesterday we lost ourselves a legend out of the music industry and one of the co founders of the legendary and amazing band ACDC. ACDC was founded in 1973 by Angus Young and his brother Malcolm Young. Malcolm Young was the rhythm guitarist for ACDC up until 2014 when he was forced into retirement due to his suffering from dementia. He passed away Saturday surrounded by his friends, family, and loved ones peacefully, thank goodness. He was an amazing talent. ACDC is a band that has stood the test of time. ACDC is a band that I've been listening to since birth, which is amazing because I was born in 1982. And the band had already existed for nine years at that point. ACDC is a band and a form of music that I've been listening to my entire life. This is tragic. This is nothing short of tragic. He took great pride in everything that he did. He was a good man. He was a family man. And he was a friend to many. He did a lot of charity work. He did a lot of hard work for people. And now he's gone. Angus Young himself had even said, As his brother, it is hard to express in words what he has meant to me during my life. The bond we had was unique and very special. He leaves behind an enormous legacy that will live on forever. Malcolm, job well done. Great quote from Angus there. An additional statement from Malcolm Young's family. Renowned for his musical prowess, Malcolm was a songwriter, guitarist, performer, producer, and visionary who inspired many. From the outset, he knew what he wanted to achieve, and along with his younger brother, took the world stage, giving their all at every show. Nothing less would do for their fans. He was, he was the rhythm to Angus Young's amazing guitar riffs. They were both credited as co-writers for every song the band recorded from their first album, High Voltage, all the way through to Rock or Bust, released in 2014. That album was... ACDC's first without Malcolm because he had announced in September of 2014 that he had to retire or leave the band due to his condition, his dementia. His last performance with ACDC was during their Black Ice tour which began in 2008 and concluded in June 2010. There are so many songs that I want to quote. There are so many riffs that I want to tell you inspired me. But I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss because... I'm at a loss. I don't know what to say. This is a group that has inspired me my entire life. This is a group that their first song I ever danced to was Thunderstruck. They've been there my whole life. And it's so strange to know that one of them's gone. I had just heard about this and I hadn't seen it trending on Facebook. So I wanted to let you guys know. Tiffle Tad is very simple. Tiffle Tad is things I feel like talking about today, and 
I don't think anything's going to come along in the news, in the gaming world, that's going to be more important to me talking about this. Like, I could talk about the Star Wars Battlefront 2 fiasco. I don't see the point. It's not as important to me as this. There are so many musicians that have come out and said things. Other musicians that I greatly respect. And I'm going to quote a couple of them. Maybe three or four. Uh, let's start with Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen wrote following Malcolm Young's death that it is a sad day in rock and roll. Malcolm Young was my friend and the heart and soul of ACDC. I had some of the best times of my life with him on our 1984 European tour. I wish I wasn't two at the time. My God, I would have loved to see Van Halen and ACDC in concert together. Sorry for the aside there. Eddie Van Halen continues and he says, He will be missed and my deepest condolences to his family, bandmates and friends. The person I wrote as my idol in the high school yearbook was Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. Tweeted Saturday following Malcolm Young's death. I have to go. I am losing it that Malcolm is gone. I hate this. Paul Stanley of Kiss added to that. The driving engine of ACDC has died. A tragic end for a sometimes unsung icon. One of the true greats. Rest in peace. Dave Grohl of the Foo Fighters honored Malcolm Young by writing about how at age 11 he watched a live ACDC performance from Paris in 1979 in the movie theater and it was life-changing. He said, that film was the first time I lost control to music. The first time I wanted to be in a band. I didn't want to play my guitar anymore. I wanted to smash it. Thank you, Malcolm, for the songs, the feel, the cool, and the years of losing control to your rock and roll. Let me know down in the comments below any feelings any emotions or what's going through your head as we learn of the loss of one of the true all-time greats in music. I guess I'd be remiss if I didn't say, for those about to rock, we salute you. <laughs>